A little way beyond the parish church in Leamington is this little alley which slopes down rather unusually because, as you can see, it leads down to the River Lem. It's not an alley at all, it's a slipway, the sort of thing you would launch a boat from. But legend has it that in the 19th and early 20th centuries it had a different use. It was used for washing elephants. I know it sounds bizarre, but it must be true. After all, there's even a plaque up there that tells you all about it. Elephants first came to Leamington in 1849 with Heigler's Circus. As the century wore on, it said they were overwintered in the town, being washed at the slipway, which became known as the Elephant Wash. But it wasn't the first elephant wash in town. Initially, elephants were washed here by the Victoria Bridge over the River Lem, very close to the parish church over there. The noise and the trumpeting so disturbed the parishioners that a new elephant wash was built a decent distance away. Up at the far end of town, there's even a specially built house where they were kept, known today as the Elephant House. It's from here that they were marched through the town, along the parade, to be washed each day. That's the legend. The truth is, of course, a little different. Elephants may well have been washed here at this slipway, but really it was mostly used for washing horses, which were far more numerous. The original wash was for horses too. This balustrade wasn't here. There was a gentle slope down into the river. In the 19th century, Leamington was becoming ever more gentrified and refined, and there were complaints that the carters who were washing their horses and carts down below were rough sorts who were disturbing the ladies on the bridge. This sounds a bit snobbish to us, but I think it's a euphemism for the fact that they were using it as a public urinal. It's perhaps understandable that they decided to build a new wash a little way away. Even the elephant house was probably built to stable horses. It looks unusual now, but the design was actually quite common in the 19th century. You can see other buildings with similar entrances in the same street. And it seems a little odd that there are no records or images of elephants marching down the parade to be washed. This is the main street in Leamington, lined with elegant houses and fine shops, and as the name implies, it would have been full of people promenading around the town. So you'd think there'd be at least one contemporary account of elephants making their own promenade down to the river. That's not to say there were never any elephants in Leamington. After all, there was a permanent circus building on the site of the present Loft Theatre, and elephants performed in the now demolished Theatre Royal in Regent Grove. Those elephants must have been washed in the river somewhere. And at the beginning of the 20th century, one of the most famous of elephant trainers made his home here in Leamington, Sam Lockhart, who performed before Queen Victoria and travelled the whole country and indeed the world. This sculpture in Jefferson Gardens commemorates his best known elephants, the Three Graces. They lived in the town for many years and are even buried here. And that was a job and a half. They had to draft in the council shire horse to drag the carcasses to the grave. And there's more to be said about the elephant house too. It seems that Sam Lockhart may well have occupied the building, and so perhaps he did keep elephants here. But that's history for you. It's never quite as straightforward as it seems.